Hello, my name is Katarina Lee, the most infamous woman in professional wrestling today, and you are watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia, and I'm so excited to be sitting here with the lovely Katarina Waters. Well, thank you. I'm so excited to be here. We've been talking for a little bit now, and it's like finally happening. I'm very yes, stoked yes. about that. We have. I've been following some of your interviews on YouTube. And thank I'm you. Happy to be here. Now you'll finally have like your own little tile on there, and I'm, uh, yes. I'm very pumped. <laughs> It's my time now. <laughs> well, we are here at Impact, and it is so exciting to see your return to Impact Wrestling. So how's it feel? Uh, it's, well, you used the correct word. It's very exciting to be here. I just, I'm having the best time ever, and working with Grado is a blast, as mm -hmm. I'm sure you can imagine. So uh, it's all good on my side. <laughs> how's it feel to know that you are called the It Couple of Impact Wrestling? Oh, you know, I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> <laughs> also known as the power couple, yes. also known as Great Arena, or should I say, Caterado. Ooh, I like how there's so many names for you, and it's like, I feel like this is just blossoming, like it's just starting. I think so, I think so, there's no turning back now. What is it about his about his charm, his wits, like what, what initially kind of attracted you to Grado? Well, have you spent time with him? I, I have. Have you been able to contain yourself? Barely, huh? Barely. Right, but hands off, girl. Don't so. worry, don't, I would never. No, okay, Don't good. worry. <laughs> Well, we've seen you by Grado side, but I've yet to actually see you in the ring right. wrestling the knockouts. And the knockouts right now, the division is absolutely stacked. So who are some people that you'd love to face or maybe some people you, you wouldn't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with? Oh, um, I could say because I'm a competitor and I'm not scared of anybody, I would say I'm, I'm pretty psyched to be going to the ring with all of them, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the newest edition, Tessa Blanchard, she's obviously a... Um, icon already, mm -hmm. so Absolutely. that's something to go up against. Uh, Sue Young, which, okay, if you want to say I was scared of somebody, maybe a little bit, a little bit a scared little of bit. Sue Young. Um, and, and Ali's just doing such an amazing job. I mean, goodness. You know, I love, I was saying that to her actually recently. What I really love about her is that she's this cute little blonde bunny thing, but then when she gets in the ring and she she's switched on and she's butt. angry, I mean, mm -hmm. she's Angry. She's got so much attitude and so much fire. It's amazing. I find that's the case with a lot of the girls, though. You'll kind of be backstage, and they're nice and cute. And then as soon as they step foot in that ring, it's like, whoa, right. I yes. did not see that coming. Yeah, and Taya, obviously. Of yeah, course. We've had a match already, so that was awesome. Love to do that again. Okay. More of that. <laughs> well, I love the fact that you're a self-coined sociopath in training. Oh, yes, absolutely. Tell me a little bit more. Uh, well, you know, it's really just because I find sociopaths fascinating. And also, some of my favorite fictional characters would be Patrick Bateman, who is the world's most renowned sociopath. If you don't, don't know who that is, he's the guy from American Psycho. But not the movie, the book, which is far superior. Uh, and there's Dorian Gray, okay. who I've always had somewhat an affinity with. Hmm. No, I just uh, I feel like life might be easier if there was no emotions to be <laughs> had or worried about. So I'm kind of, I'm, tr I'm focusing on, focusing on, life. Focus on reducing, so reducing the emotional basis of my mm. life and just, you know, thinking about what I can get out of it. Okay. It's but, a very interesting take. Mm. <laughs> Something else interesting that you do is you kick your morning off with tarot cards. So how did you kind of get started into that? And are you still doing that well, all the time now? That's kind of more like a recent thing because I've had these tarot cards for years. And I don't exactly remember why I bought them, but I was at a time, you know, I've always had an affinity with, you know, spiritualism and, you know, rituals. And I have a book about candle rituals and things like okay. that. I find in all the mystical world, you know, I find that fascinating. And if you really think about what magic is, magic is just focusing energy, right? Because everything's energy. Everything is only made up of millions of atoms so you and me and the air around us there's no the stuff in between us mm -hmm. right that's molecules that are moving and vibrating so in a sense if I can manipulate through my vibration my energy if I can manipulate the air around me then without touching you I can manipulate you hmm. right so I find that incredibly fascinating and so okay. I guess tar tarot is like an extension of it okay but what really happened this time around even though I've had these cards for years and things that are so beautiful um i played a game of dungeons and dragons mm -hmm. on sunday nights we stream on twitch and so in the one episode we had a tarot card psychic woman and then it was such an intense episode that i felt compelled after that to pull out my cards and just you know play around with them Double a little bit it. and what i found this time around was that for some reason 
they were really speaking to me and just sending me cards that seemed to really be accurate and fitting to my mood and maybe you know qualities that I have been experiencing myself or working on and not even the sociopath <laughs> That, that's completely different. <laughs> that's completely different. <laughs> that's more like a fictional character of mine. But, um, and so, yeah, and so because this deck is the drawings, the art is so amazing, and because it's been speaking to me, so yeah. I, I've just kind of been playing around with it. Okay, is that something so. you find you, like you're doing every morning now to kick your day off? Or uh, no, just sort of once randomly. In a while. Yeah, once in a while. Okay. Yeah. The other day you tweeted something that kind of caught my eye because I dabble into Photoshop quite a bit as well. Uh, but you said, should I go on a hike or should I right. practice some Photoshop? Yeah. So what was it that you wanted to try on there? Well, you know, I've been uh, working on... I, I'm doing this online course about graphic design. Okay. And I, I, I mean, I've been doing photography for quite a while now as well. Just sort of hobby photography. I go out and I take pictures of things that might you might not think necessary to take a picture of. Yeah. You know, like a rusty nail and a on the street or whatever you know but then through the way that you shoot it and then through manipulation afterwards in the editing process you, you can, can make, make it look, look like really it can be beautiful. art yeah. right and so I love all of that and then also the other flip side of that is um, that I also want to work on some t-shirt designs for myself and things like okay. that so therefore I'm just trying to educate myself a little bit more on graphic design and just so I can have it in front of me and play around with it rather than send it out and commission it to people. And, okay. Yeah. So it's definitely going to come in handy for sure. Right, I hope so. <laughs> Best of luck. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Well, here on the site, we not only interview wrestlers, but also mm -hmm. musicians. Ah, so yes. if you could hang out with a band for a day, which would that be? Oh, I don't know. Uh, the name just popped into my head was Paradise Lost. Okay. I don't know if I necessarily, you know, in terms of the people, but... Uh, well, I don't really know anything about them as people, but just their music has always been something that I've uh, really loved. Okay, so that'd be your so, go-to. So yeah. they, are they one of your favorite bands then? Yes. Is that why it came to yes. mind? Yes, yes, okay. for sure. Yeah. Well, just to wrap things up, I do want to leave things with all of the fans who will be viewing. Oh. Anything you would like to say? Oh, I want to say thank you for watching Impact every Thursday night on Pop and in 120 cr countries all around the world. And uh, do look out for me and Grado. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Katarina's Infamy because I'm infamous, of course. right? And uh, thank you for having me thank on your amazing so show. Thank you so much for joining me. I really wish the best of luck to you and Grado. Thank you. I, I love you two together. I hope it works out. <laughs> <laughs> and remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at alicia2.com for all exclusive interviews and features. We'll see ya. Bye.